making the tea. Trouble is, it's like in somebody else's kitchen, you don't know where anything is. And I'm trying to find the tea bags, but I can't find them. Oh, look at this. Tea bags. One, two, three. I'll have to get used to this. This is about as wide as well, it's a bit narrower than my boat, but you know, it, it's, it's a small galley type of kitchen. One of this electric, beyond the gas stove, in one of those whistling kettles. Now, what's gone on this week? Well, the boat actually looks like a builder's yard. This is Dom. He's the bloke who's the, he's the cabinet maker. He does the fit out. He's the master woodworky type bloke. What makes me realize the importance of the battening. Dom can work that quick because the homework has already been done in the design phase. and the length of the boarding that matches where the buttons go. So basically Dom just puts the board on and he knows where the buttons are gonna be and he just, he just makes life so much easier for him. There's a horn there. Don't know how loud it's going to be. Last week I discussed lights and I stated I didn't know what. Which light was what? There's some people that have commented and said that port four letters, left four letters, green five letters, right five letters. Okay, got it. All right, that kind of makes sense. The question I want to ask a number of people is why is it red and why is it green? Why were they chosen? Well, I've done a bit of research on that. Now, I'm not saying that this is 100% pucker, this is 100% true. However, it is stated at Blue Hour regardless of the mist that's coming up of the sea or your vapors coming up in the blue out the, the sun's rising at dawn or it's setting at dusk that blue hour the lights that shine through are in fact red and green and if you notice car um, rear lights or tail lights or however whatever lights it is the rear of the car those lights are red and you can see them miles away if the road's that long and that straight you can see them miles away and you can imagine can't you because all this port and starboard lighting happened in about 1847 when the Admiralty discussed that they needed some lights to determine which side is what on a boat and you can pretty much, you know, around the wardroom, you can imagine the officers sitting around there discussing various bits and bobs. And then, um, you know, you've got Admiral Cordroy Brogues and, and Captain Lancashire Oppot, along with Badminton Racket and a few other chaps that are saying, that, oh, what colour should we put on the left and which colour should we put on the right? I don't know, which, which one do you think? And it's like, you know, maybe port is red, Pass the port, old chap. We pass it to the left. Why not? Why not put port red left? Good idea, old chap. Good idea. You can imagine that, can't you? I mean, who, who discussed that? Who thought of that idea? It's 
been taken up by of the aircraft world and 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 marine world. So do you know. Notice on the boards, the boards have been painted, ready to put on the wall. Um, but Dom has masking taped all around the outside of where he wants to cut. And the reason for that is, if he makes a mess of the paintwork, then the board needs to go back to uh, paint a mark to be repainted. Last week, when I mentioned about the chlorifier, my brief to Mark was I need the biggest chlorifier I could have. The reason for that is I wanted hot water when the kids are on the boat. Tony then comments, and he says, trouble is, he said, if you've got a big water tank, it takes a while to heat the water. And that costs in diesel. And if you're just running the engine, to give yourself hot water and you've got a big hot water tank that's going to bring the next service of the engine that little bit closer Do you know i haven't really considered that and that's a very useful point on how many people you you're hosting how often you're going to host them and how often you need to shower i've got a massive hot water tank now and that's that's what i've got and I think time will tell how I'm going to live on the boat, how I'm going to make, how I'm going to make this all work. Once it's hot, that should last me some time. And if it's just me living on the boat, how often am I going to have a shower? If you haven't been doing much that day, why do you need to shower? I've lasted a number of weeks without having a shower in, in particularly hot weather, which means that whatever water's in that hot water tank should last me some time. But useful point made by Tony. Um, as you see, the side panels, the the the, the gun, uh, the gun wall, gunnels, however you say it. I mean, they were the gun walls because that's where the walls where the guns used to stick out of and um, now they're, they're sort of kind of bastardized into the name of gunnels shortened should i say this boarded here this boarding is just it's been lacquered twice it's just lovely just nice and oh uh, that's been done all the way down now i don't think we're going to get all the all the other let's get up oh, all the other panels on the side of the walls in the office the um this one's been done so just imagine i'm sat in the office now yeah so there's bits of office furniture been made at the moment don't forget this is going to be also a, uh, a bit of a bedroom i can imagine myself being sat here looking out looking out the porthole looking out the porthole here and then behind me is that other swingy doory openy thing we sat here bit of work side hatch and the other thing is with this board it's dead center of the porthole and the porthole is dead center of the side hatch center of the desk you're looking out the porthole great and I suppose in time, once the old ducks get to know me or the swans get to know me, they'll be poking their head over here saying, oi, oi, give me some oats, I could do. Anyway, so, and there's a board going on on this um, part of the wall very shortly. Marcus? Well, Marcus is the machinist. It's a mystery to me how it all could He machines 
gets the wood to the right size and does make some of the, uh, the furniture for the boat. It's a well-oiled team. Marcus machines and put stuff together. It gets sent up to Mark the painter and then gets sent across to Dom who fits it out. Great, great system of work. And of course you've got the new lads, Ben and Dylan. I'm not really showing much of Dylan yet. And then of course you've got Mark who's the uh, the owner of the foot out pontoon and he oversees and, and and gives advice and tells everybody what his DMG is. Everybody works to Mark's standards, works to the values that Mark believes in. And Mark currently is project managing three boats. Yes, This bit of kit is called the edge bander. It's a masterful bit of kit to be fair, because it puts all the edge edges on all the on all the MDF. PVC edging and oak real wood edging. Now it depends on what's going on. I mean, for example, this bit of this is going. This bit of furniture here is part of my bedroom. No, part of the bathroom cabinet. So on the outside of the is is this hardwood MDF oak style thing that this is a this is probably about six or seven k. I reckon that that small bathroom cabinet is probably going to weigh about 30k. That's a heavy bit of kit. So the edge banding puts all those edges on the furniture. To do that, it goes through this, the glue's heated up to 200 degrees and it um and what it glues on the side of the on the side of the wood. Anyway, this bit of kit here that does the edging and does a damn fine job on it too. This is the bathroom cabinet. It's got the same, the same style of woodworky type stuff. You know, there's going to be a door on the front, and as you open the door, you'll have this this strip, as if it's as if it's wood all the way around. The same colour. Um, this is just the, um, the internal gubbins of the bathroom unit because on the outside of this, on the outside of this white bit will be some oak faced MDF and on this side will be the same and then the sinks on the top. It's a nice, let's move this camera a little bit, it's a nice square sink that just sits on top of that and there's some, some taps that, that go into the wall and as you turn the taps on then the tap thing that got the water shooting out that comes out of the wall and just looks kind of a little bit different to to what is normal tap or you lift up the handle and tap water comes out whatever it is but I think this is going to be really nice now again this didn't take too long to make I suppose if you know what you're doing nothing takes too long to do but it is it's about two foot deep so I can, it is two foot deep, so I can get lots of stuff on the inside there. I can see the towels going in there quite nicely. Towels going in there. What else goes in a bathroom cabinet? I mean, you know, ladies, they have all sorts of stuff, don't they? Blokes 
towels on the inside. <laughs> this bit of kit. This bit of wood here is um, is my bookcase. Now, in the office, I have a three foot desk with width ways, three foot desk. And I'm sat there and I've got a bookcase either side. I think that'd be quite nice. I think that'd be quite nice. Well, I've got some books. I want to look after them. Put some books in there. Again, MDF, but it's oak faced MDF and it's, it just looks fantastic. And all the, all the fittings, all the shelves going, I don't know how many shelves there'll be on each one, but of course, then you've got these things. I'll be able to move the shelves up and down as I, as, as the books dictate, because I've got some big books and I've got some smaller books and, and you know what books are like. And being in the military, I kind of need to have them all levelled off a bit, don't I? All the, the same, by the same author, by the same style and the height, and it will all be OCD-like. But um, I've got two of these, and they've kind of been built ready to be, ready to be um, lacquered. And then once they're lacquered, they can be screwed together and fitted together quite nicely. So again, that's, that's something else that's happened this week, which is good. I've got my bathroom cabinet, which was made today, which is good. The interior, the gunnels, the gun walls, the, the whatever you call them, those boards are on. The boards on the side, they're going up right now. Again, there's been there's been some been some hard work this week. So, whilst not everything was done on the boat, that perhaps. I suggested last week a lot of work has gone on a boat there's been some furniture happening there's been some all of the uh, the boards below the gunnels has been done a couple of the boards on the top of the gunnels on the side they've been done and I'm sure by next week all of that will be done and it's just things are moving on things are moving on quickly thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for commenting if you want to comment, all that sort of stuff, comment below. See you next week.